Hi, my name is Mark. I'm a tea specialist for Twinings, and this month on Tea Tasters, we're going to introduce to you Twinings Peppermint Infusion. As you can see, we have a recipe of different peppermints that we're using in Tea Tasters this month. It's a combination of the plant from Germany, USA, Egypt, and Turkey. We know that uh, peppermint is a fast-spreading perennial that flowers from July till September and generally grows very well at the higher latitudes. You can see it's a very, very coarse, loose-leaf infusion, but when it's brewed, it's an absolute delight to drink. So as you can see, our kettle is nearly approaching a rolling boil, 100 degrees plus, and this is a great temperature to be used with all infusions. As you can see here, we're using some specialist tea tasting crockery, slightly larger version with a serrated edge there for filtering out the infusion. So of course at home you can use your favourite crockery, your favourite cup, mug, or whatever it is you drink your infusion or tea from. As you can see, I've used a large teaspoon of tea here, I've turned my timer over and I'm going to give it about four minutes. So we're giving the infusion four minutes to work its magic and I'm going to filter the liquor into this tasting bowl here and we're going to have a look at what delights await us. There we go. And I can already begin to smell those really pungent, beautiful peppermint smells coming from the infusion. So we know that the greatest part of perceived taste is through aroma and smell, so we're going to pick this up and have a good long sniff at the aromas coming off this infused peppermint leaf. So you can see our infusion here, it's got a lovely bold bright colour, good clarity through the infusion and I'm just going to put my spoon in here and have a little taste. Ah, wonderful. Nice, peppery, grassy notes filling the mouth. An absolute wonderful infusion this month. So I hope you've enjoyed this month's peppermint infusion. Great for cleansing the palate. Superb on a hot summer's day. But remember, if you've got any feedback or any comments on this month's tea tasters, we'd love to hear it from you.